Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. Um, I'm not in the farm today as you can see. I'm in my room at home. So um, today I'll be talking about, you know, as a pig farmer, you must have heard about what is called inbreeding. Cross breeding and pure breeding. All those breeding terms. If you ask yourself, what is this breeding? What is this breeding of? What is this breeding of a thing? What is it about this breeding of a thing? So today I'm about to explain it all on the ch channel. So if, if you have not subscribed to my channel, do well and subscribe. It not take you much to subscribe to the channel. So just do well and subscribe. Press that su subscription button. And not like the for that. People will come here after watching the video, they will disappear. No, you have to leave a footprint, which is by subscribing. So you need to subscribe. Click on that subscribe button now, please. Have you have you clicked there? Okay, let's continue. So make sure you click that subscription button. So let's continue. So um, in breeding, in pig farm, in, is a pig term, which is used. In fact, in breeding means when a pig gives birth. You know, females, uh, guilds and sows, when they give birth, you can give birth to 8, 10, 15 piglets. Now, when these 15, I mind these piglets are made up of male and female, bulls and uh, g and gills and sows. So when these pigs from the same mother grow, grow up and become sexually matured, which is usually at five months or six months. Now, if they mate, that is called inbreeding, they are from the same mother and they are mating. They are inbreeding. It's just like that, when a brother and a sister mates, it's called inbreeding in pig, in a, in pig family. Now, the consequence of this inbreeding is that it might cause some of the bad traits in the parents' pigs to be transferred to the newly born piglets. For example, now, if I'm the brother, and let's say that, and the, the, let's say that my sister that I, I met, it, but let's say I have a, I'm just, using, I'm just trying to make an example. Let's say I have stunted growth, and my sister has stunted growth, and we mix. We give birth to piglets that have stunted growth. They won't grow much. But as you know, I was I have stunted stunt growth and I mated another pig from another uh, parent from another parent's pig that grew very normal, that is very has a, a good height and a very large body. As you mean I mated with the pig, we will give birth to much better kids. So, the, one of the biggest, in fact, the biggest consequence of inbreeding is that it transfers the you no. Know, the bad traits of that family into that into this, those newborn piglets. So it's a very bad pig farming practice. So let us go to source your your male pigs from other farm. Let's say that you use uh, you use uh, five boars for one year. You send them off and you get new boars. So that when their children must have grown, those new boars will be servicing them and their mother and, and all those things. So um, that is for inbreeding. Now crossbreeding. Crossbreeding means when you take another a pig of a different breed, and under let's say you take a boar of a different breed and a sow of a different breed, and you made them together. That's called crossbreeding. For example, now, let's say you have, you, take, you took a land raised boar and you took a, a duroc sow and you mated them. That is crossbreeding. Mating this breed and this other breed. Now, what is pure breeding? Pure breeding, uh, in fact, okay, I'm, I'm still on cross breeding. Cross breeding is very, very good. Probably is very, very good. And uh, especially when you are breeding with good pigs, not nonsense pigs, so good pigs. So it's a very, very good uh, practice also, unlike the inbreeding. Now, for the pure breeding, pure breeding means breeding pigs of the same breed. For example, now you are breeding a land race male. And a land race female. That is for those who want to have just one particular set of um, um, pig breed in their farm. It's a very good practice, and uh, it's also, in fact, it's just good. So um, that's it on this video. I hope you have subscribed to this channel, and as you have subscribed, I hope you like this video, and you also comment. Um, if you need any, any of my help on pig farming, just um, come to my WhatsApp. 
I will talk. And if you also need consultations, I do consultations on pig farming. So if you need my, my consultation services, you will have to come or you can give me a call. You can test me on WhatsApp. I'm always available. So my number is in my description. And you, can, you can also take it here. 090, 090 that 958 6289. 090 that 958 6289. So that's it on this on today's video. Thank you very much and peace. Peace.